Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and let me just introduce you to our new line of input-output modules, this time connected to our TPS. TPS uh, is a mini or micro PLC, a programmable logic controller, but as you can see there is no programming input. You program uh, the uh, steps um, with uh, just two push buttons. I won't explain this in, in more detail here, but it's uh, you can do many control applications even with uh, this little also uh, separately available pre-programmed uh, microcontroller and you can load the program steps uh, just with uh, two push, push buttons into the controller. So, but today it's about the input-output modules. Uh, first of all, we have a uh, four digitally or galvanically isolated optocoupler input module. Uh, you have here uh, screw terminals with a four uh, inputs. You c any um, voltage between, uh, let's say, uh, three volts and 24 volts will turn an internal LED on inside the optocoupler and opposite to the LED is a phototransistor and when the LED is turned on then the phototransistor will uh, also switch on which means it will it pull uh, the collector uh, to the low state and you need to use the internal pull-ups on the four outputs here available uh, to make um, uh, to make a digital signal out of uh, this. So that's the only limitation because we deliber deliberately did not use any um, pull-up resistors here just to make it universal. Uh, if you want to use the module uh, on um, circuits of your own, uh, you have to watch out for either provide external pull-up resistors or, as here, use the internal pull-ups in th inside the microcontroller. And the output module consists of uh, two separate PCBs. Uh, the first one is an 8-port uh, Darlington driver chip the venerable ULN2803A. Uh, it can drive uh, up to 500 milliamps uh, max, uh, but not for all four or eight used channels. Uh, the four, four or 500 milliamps uh, current limitation is only, uh, let's call it in, in total for all, um, for all outputs. Uh, you uh, can and must provide an external voltage, which is here designated as plus 12 volt, but it don't have to be 12 volt. Anything between 5 volts and 50 volts is okay if you want to use um, the outputs of the Darlington drivers for other purposes than switching uh, relays uh, on. Uh, so you, you can switch uh, light bulbs and uh, any DC loads, whatever, uh, but then you should not uh, make the connection here to the relay module. So uh, for using it as, uh, for using the relay module, we have two versions of this relay module. One is with 5 volt um, relays, the other one is with 12 volt uh, relays. So uh, you uh, have to provide, if you're using one of our relay modules, you have to provide the right uh, input voltage for the relay uh, coils. Usually you will take 12 volts, but if you are working in a 5 volt system, then it's uh, uh, quite nice to have 5 volt relay, so you don't, don't need any uh, higher, uh, any power supply with a higher voltage than 5 volts. And as you can see, because uh, this is a very universal module, we had to use a special crossed uh, ribbon cable here to the connection. And you have to use uh, output number two. Output number one will not uh, work because it has a different uh, purpose. For our TPS controller board, you have to use output two and you have to use uh, the special uh, crossed ribbon cable that we provide 
uh, uh, with uh, the circuit with the uh, PCB, and the output module, uh, the relay module, um, which is an, let's call it an addition to the output driver module. Uh, it has four uh, power relays with switch over contacts. So you have one contact that is normally closed when uh, the relay is not engaged and you have uh, one contact which is normally open and which closes when you energize the relay. Uh, the relays uh, can switch up to 8 amps and even up to mains voltage 230 volts but uh, don't expect uh, that it can switch the full 8 amps with inductive or capacitive loads. Uh, the 8 amps rating is only for resistive loads. I've already mentioned this a few times uh, with our UniRel, our universal relay interface and our wrist, our programmable interface. And there is even to a tutorial uh, about um, the limitations of, of all relays you can buy. So for switching um, uh, DC uh, resistive loads and DC loads, um, there's no problem with the 8 amps uh, limitation, but watch out when switching inductive loads, uh, then you should not use the full uh, 8 amps rating. Anyway, uh, it's quite universal. You don't have to use the uh, input and output modules with the TPS. Uh, you get the schematics and the connection diagram and the wiring diagram. Uh, you can download it uh, from our shop or I'll give you the link uh, down uh, below in the comments. And uh, well, I hope you liked it and perhaps you find some nice uh, purpose uh, for these three input output module and that was it for today see you next time bye from kanka labs bye from roger